Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders for this week, build 23419, which they made available on the 22nd of March. So just to have a quick look at what's new in build 23419, because these could be features, although not guaranteed, that could possibly roll out to an up-and-coming stable version in the near future. So the first new feature, looking at some screenshots taken from the release notes, uh, is you can create live kernel memory dumps now in the task manager, as we can see. And uh, uh, Microsoft says that to capture a live kernel memory dump, go to the details page in the task manager, right click on the system process, as we can see, and the context menu should light up to show create live kernel memory dump file to capture a full live kernel or kernel stack memory dump. So that's now been tested in that latest dev channel build. And then moving on to the next, and um, this just shows us that um, you can also go to the task manager settings page to view and or edit the settings for live kernel memory dumps, which I think will be a nice uh, feature if it does roll out to the task manager in the future. And then this next feature, um, believe it or not, um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a week or so ago, I posted on this, which was a hidden feature in the Insider program. And as I have mentioned previously with hidden features, they could possibly become official features that Microsoft is testing. And here we go. Uh, you now have a USB 4 settings page. And Microsoft say they are adding a USB 4 hubs and devices settings page for users under settings, Bluetooth and devices, USB USB 4 hubs and devices. The USB 4 settings page provides information about the system's USB 4 capabilities and attached peripherals on a USB capable system. And uh, just take note though, uh, if you are in the dev channel and you're not seeing this, it means that obviously uh, your device does not support USB 4. And um, if you, your device does not uh, support USB 4, um, with the Microsoft USB 4 Connection Manager, this page will not be displayed. So just take note of that. So that's a hidden feature that has now become an official feature. Now, um, just going through these cloud suggestions in Simplify Chinese IME quickly, because these did roll out, I think, last week to the beta channel and are now in the dev channel. Um, the cloud suggestion adds the most relevant word from Bing to the IME candidate window. Moving on to the next, um, the integrated search suggestion gives you additional suggestions that are similar to what you see in uh, the Bing search page. And then the last one regarding um, the uh, Chinese IME, to turn on these features, select um, the Chevron button at the right end of the IME candidate, as we can see, and um, then you'll find turn on button. And that's just a brief description of what that's all about in that screenshot. And then this also rolled out um, previously to the beta channel, where um, if we just zoom in here, you now get a glanceable VPN status um, shown overlaid over on an active network connection in the system tray when connected to a recognized VPN profile that also now displays in your system accent color, which I think would be a nice um, add-on if it does roll out to the stable version. And um, this next one, I think for a lot of users, um, will be a nice move in the right direction, as I always say. And um, this is in response to user feedback, Microsoft says, where they are now introducing the capability. So if we zoom in here, the capability to show seconds in the clock on the system tray. And this feature can be enabled um, by toggling the op option listed under settings, personalization, taskbar in the taskbar behavior sec section. And as we can see, show seconds in system tray clock. But just take note though, in brackets, it says uses more power. So obviously um, keeping those seconds going um, means there are extra processes and resources being used uh, in the background. So um, if you are on a low budget machine, that could hamper your uh, performance and your system resources ever so slightly. And Microsoft says you can also right click on the taskbar to quickly get to taskbar settings. So um, seconds in the system tray clock now being tested in the dev channel for this week. And then this is the last uh, screenshot for the purpose of today's video. And, uh, and voice access, um, the redesigned in-app help page uh, in voice access was introduced back with build 23403, now includes all commands 
and the supplementary information accurately so we can see that from the screenshot provided. Now that's um, the actual features when it comes to being displayed using uh, screenshots taken from the release notes and then just to do um, three quick mentions and then we'll look at a hidden feature. Um, Microsoft is also trying out small changes with some Windows insiders where the recommended section in the in the um, start menu um, is changed to for you so that will be changed from recommended to for you and I actually posted on that previously and then a feature that's actually going to be rolling out to the um, stable version of Windows 11 22H2 shortly but now being tested in the dev channel as well uh, is that um, it's regarding the search on the taskbar and Microsoft says once you have access to the new Bing, the search box on the taskbar will include a button that opens the Bing chat experience in Edge. So that will appear here by the search highlights um, if you do have access to the new Bing. And then just a quick mention, as part of the deprecation of Microsoft support diagnostic tool MSDT, um, which I have posted on previously, and MSD troubleshooters, Microsoft has begun redirecting some of the troubleshooters found under the settings system troubleshoot and in other areas of the OS to the new Get Help troubleshooting platform. So basically, um, the MSDT tool is a troubleshooter and um, that is getting moved now over to the Get Help app, which will um, include a whole lot of um, those troubleshooters that Microsoft will migrate over in the near future. Now, those are the official new features. And then just to do a mention of an unofficial hidden feature that once again was spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom of Earth over on Twitter. Now, as many of you know, in the stable version of Windows 11 and also Windows 10, you can use Windows key, Shift and S to activate um, the screen, the snipping tool, the screen capture tool uh, in the Windows operating system. And as many of you know, uh, the snipping tool rolled out with a screen recording function with the Moment 2 update for Windows 11 22H2. And uh, in the dev channel for this week, a hidden feature is now um, over and above using Windows Shift and S to take a screenshot. Um, you can also now use Windows Shift and R to start the screen recording um, function using the snipping tool. So that's just a brief mention of a hidden feature spotted by Phantom of Earth over on Twitter. And that's more or less um, what's new uh, in the latest Dev Channel Insider Preview build for this week, build 23419. And then over and above those new features, we get all the normal um, fixes and known issues. And I'll actually leave a link to the release notes in the description if you would like some more information and would be interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.